Today, I'm gonna share with you some smart money tactics. So pay attention. Look, here's one thing that I learned from my mentor, T. Harvecker. He said, look, if you can't manage a dollar, you'll never be able to manage a million dollars. I took that one step further and I realized if I can't appreciate a dollar, I'll never be able to appreciate a million dollars. Now, today, a million dollars is not that much. And that's why we gotta think multiple millions of dollars that pay us over and over again. And one of the key elements that I've learned as a smart money tactic to make that happen is what's called a cash flow management system. And I learned this from a couple of different places. I'm gonna give you two resources. The first is New York Times best-selling book, Secrets of the Millionaire Mind by T. Harv Ecker. Great book, it teaches you a simple cash flow management system. A second book is called Profit First by an author called Mike Michalowicz. Check those books out. But I'm gonna teach you really simply what they are. So what I've learned and I've implemented with my cash flow management system are seven different buckets or accounts. The first bucket for me, which is the very most important, is called my FFA, my financial freedom account, or my pay myself first account. Because I learned how rich people think is they pay themselves first. This is money I take off the top to go put into an investment. An investment is a lump sum payment for future income. The second account that I use or bucket, this is what's called my education or my proximity account. See, I have this belief that I learned how rich people think is proximity is power. So I personally am my number one asset. My education or proximity account, I'm paying to increase my value to bring to the marketplace that intensifies the amount of money that I attract into my life. Now I will say this is the easiest account for people to avoid. They actually don't put money into their education or proximity account and they're afraid to spend because for whatever reason, they think they're going to lose their money. And it's typically because they doubt themselves. But trust me, invest in yourself through education proximity and watch you sort. That's why I've spent so much money in mentoring with T. Harv Eker. I've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars in mentoring with Tony Robbins and being in his Platinum Circle Mastermind. And the peer group that I get into, it holds me at a higher standard. The third account that I love to talk about and that I put money into, it's the third bucket. It's called the Long Term for Savings for Spending account. And there's a couple ways I use this money. One, I use it to pay off bad debt because if I've got myself into bad credit card debt, I can use that account to pay it off. Two is for medical or unforeseen emergencies. You know, like a root canal or a flat tire, a fender bender, or things you don't really want to pay for, you use the Long Term Savings for Spending. And the third, which I actually really enjoy, it's for something of luxury, like a luxury vacation or towards a new car or a trip, like uh, something fun, but it's a longer term, bigger thing. Maybe a down payment for a house. The fourth account or bucket that I use is my player, my fun account. This is where I have to spend this money on myself to celebrate. That could be buying a really delicious overpriced crepe. It could be a pedicure, a massage. It could be taking and just buying a really nice meal for myself, or maybe I have a really exclusive gym membership. I don't know, but I'm spending things that are to celebrate me and it's fun and there's no questions asked. I can spend it however I want, except for one caveat. I got to spend it on me. I got to spend it on me. That's really important. Now, the fifth one is what's called the necessities. The fifth bucket or account is the necessities or the OPEX, the operating account. This is the money I live off of. This is the basic essentials of rent or my mortgage payment, utilities, gas, food, clothing, you know the things that I need just to survive in the day to day. Now here's my rule with this account. I want it to be 50% or less of my total revenue. That's right, 50% or less and ideally closer to 40%, which might be difficult at first, but if you can get to this, you give area to these other accounts. The sixth account is what's called the giveaway or the contribution account. This is where I give it away to a foundation, something like Operation Underground Rel Road that helps uh, people with sex slavery or here in my state, one out of eight kids go hungry every day. So I donate to the Utah Food Bank or I'll donate to a local uh, 
uh, food kitchen, like the LDS Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. They have a food kitchen here that is to help with local members of their church in pay their mortgages or to help them win food when they go on hard times. But it's a way I can contribute. Some of the other ways I do this is like I'll occasionally send my mom uh, $250 in Venmo and it really brightens her day up. Or I'll find ways to take family members to dinner and pay for them because I want to give to those people that are important to me. And then the seventh account is what I call my country donations account or my tax account. I hate taxes. Country donation sounds a little bit better, especially the way the government runs the entire fiscal budget in here in the United States. But it's me, I have to pay taxes and I have to set money on the sidelines with it. So this is what's called country donations. It's my fair share and I love paying them because if I'm paying taxes, that means I'm making money. Now, here's the deal. I don't wanna pay more than my fair share and there's other ways to reduce how much you do pay in taxes legally and through the tax incentives that are structured for business owners. However, I have an account specific for this. So what I would recommend that you do is create your accounts. And the goal that my mentor T. Harv teaches is the behavior. If you can't start with high level percentages that maybe he teaches or Mike Michalowicz teaches in his book, start with as little as a dollar and then grow it. Each time you get paid, manage it into these buckets of these accounts. So here's your assignment I would recommend. Go open up a bank account and open up separate money market accounts. And every time you get money paid into it, move money into these accounts. Thanks for watching. Smash that like button, comment and share, and I'll see you on my next video.